Hello good day viewers. In our previous lesson you have seen how to find the solution for so many forms of differential equations. So in today's tutorial we are going to look on to how to find the solution for a linear differential equation. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. A linear differential equation is in the form of uh, dy over dx plus py equals q for which p and q are either functions of x or any constant example suppose we are given dy over dx plus 5y equals exponential 2x this is a linear differential equation for some reasons First, we have a first order differential equation, which is dy over dx. Um, the coefficient of this is one, which is a constant. So a linear differential equation, the coefficient can never be any function of y. And we have five y here. Y is to the first degree. A linear differential equation, y can never take any power apart from one. We have e to the two x, where 2x is a function of x. Suppose it is a function of y, we say it is non-linear differential equation. And again, none of the method we applied initially can be used in finding the solution for this form of differential equation. Hence, we are going to obtain a particular factor which we call integrating factor. Integrating factor. And to obtain that integrating factor, we are going to take e to the integral of p dx. And you know p is the coefficient of y, which we have here as 5. So this is equal to e to the integral of 5 dx, which is equal to e to the, if you take the integral of 5 dx, you are going to get 5x. Hence, e to the 5x is our integrating factor for this differential equation. What we are going to do, we are going to multiply each of these terms by this integrating factor. So the first term we have e to the 5x dy over dx plus we have 5y e to the 5x this is equal to e to the 2x, which is this, then multiply it by our integrating factor, which is e to the 5x. So the left-hand side is always of 10 by taking the derivative with respect to x of y multiplied by our integrating factor, which is e to the 5x. If you differentiate this, you are going to get these terms, these two terms exactly. Hence, we can write them in this form. If you want to find out, you can take the derivative of these terms using product rule. You keep y constant. You take the derivative of the second, which is e to the 5x, multiplied by the derivative of the power, which is going to make it 5. Plus, now you, you keep the second one constant, e to the 5x, then you take the derivative of the first, which is dy over dx. If you look at these two terms, they are exactly the same with these ones. Hence, we can write them in this form. And to the right-hand side, using lots of indices, you can take one base and add the powers together, 7x. Now we can go ahead and integrate both sides. Integrate the left-hand side, integrate the uh, right-hand side with respect to x. If you integrate the left-hand side, you'll be left with only y exponential 5x. y exponential 5x, this is equal to. If you integrate this, you're going to obtain e to the 7x multiply by 1 over the derivative of the power 
if you differentiate 7x you're going to obtain 7. This is the same thing as y exponential 5x equals 1 over 7 e to the 7x plus our constant of integration. Hence you can leave your solution in this form and if you like you can divide both sides by e to the 5x in order to have y alone. So we have y if you divide both sides by this and this is equal to 1 over 7 e to the 7x divided by e to the 5x using loss of indices 7 minus 5 is 2 so we have exponential 2x plus we have c um, you can take the inverse of this power so that you can multiply c with e to the negative 5x is the same thing as divide it is the same thing as dividing c with e to the 5x hence this is the solution for this linear differential equation so now let us look on to the second problem now here is our next problem we have dy over dx minus y equals x first thing we are going to find our integrating factor our integrating factor is always equal to e to the integral of p dx. This is equal to e to the integral of our p, which is the coefficient of y. And we have the coefficient of y here to be equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1 dx. This is equal to e to the, uh, if you take the integral of this, you're going to obtain negative x. And this is our integrating factor. We are going to multiply each of these terms by this integrating factor. The first one we have e to the negative x dy over dx minus y, our integrating factor e to the negative x. This is equal to x multiplied by e to the negative x. Remember I told you the left hand side can always be expressed as d over dx of y multiplied by the integrating factor which is e to the negative x and we have to the right hand side x exponential negative x by integrating both sides of this equation we have y e to the negative x from the left hand side dx this is equal to we are going to integrate this applying integration by parts so so let u equals x du over dx is equal to 1 if you take the derivative of u with respect to x we are going to obtain 1 so by multiplying both sides by by dx we are going to obtain du equals dx then we take dv to be equal to the remaining term which is exponential negative x dx v by in taking the integral of both sides this is the same thing as negative exponential negative x so we are going to substitute this into uv minus the integral of v du our u is x our v is exponential exponential e to the negative x but we have our negative at the back minus the integral of v what is v we have negative e to the negative x so this negative can come out to make this positive and we have du to be equal to dx. Minus x exponential negative x. If you take the integral of this, you're going to obtain negative e to the negative x. Hence, we can substitute this with this. This is equal to minus x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x plus the constant of integration we can as well divide both sides by e to the negative x 
leaving y here and this is equal to uh, if you divide this term by this because uh, e to the negative x will cancel e to the negative x leaving only negative x here minus we have e to the negative x we have e to the negative x they will cancel having one plus constant you can take the inverse of this so that they will multiply as e to the x and hence this is the solution for this differential equation and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day